Now in order to find the shaded area R, what we're going to need to do is to turn to the formula that you should know which calculates area. Area is always equal to the integral of y with respect to x and x has to go from the lower limit to the upper limit. The lower limit being x is minus 4 to 41. So put that in like that. Now I've said that that's the area but strictly that's not the case because this would only give us the area of just half of the loop. Okay. It was, we're looking to take this top area here and then I'm going to double it. So strictly speaking the area would be twice this integral. Okay, so how do we work this out? Well, we've got twice the integral. Now, if we look at y, y is t bracket 9 minus t squared. So we can substitute that in, 9 minus t squared. Now, it says with respect to x, but because we've got this now as in t's, we need to change the integral not with respect to x anymore, but with respect to t. So we can get round this by writing dx by dt times dt. It's as if these dt's cancel. But because I've now changed the integration with respect to t from being with respect to x, the limits must change. These limits, remember, were with respect to x. So we've got to work out what t would be when x is minus 4. Well, we already know that. We found out from the first part that t was equal to 0 at this point. So we can put that when x is minus 4, t was 0. Now it's this one that is the dodgy one. Okay, You've got x is 41. And we found out that x was 41 when t was equal to 3 or minus 3. Now, we've got to find out what value of t it would be when we come round this way through the curve. Well, if you were to put a value of t between 0 and 3, okay, through your curve, for the y value, is it going to be positive, which would indicate this stretch, or is it going to be negative, which would indicate this stretch? So put a value of t between 0 and 3 into your y equation here. Suppose I choose, say, t is 1. You'll notice that you get 9 take away 1, which is 8. 1 times 8 is 8, so y is positive. So that's an indication that this part of the curve is for values of t between 0 and 3. And that's what we want. Okay, We want to take the plus 3. But if you were to take a value of t from 0 to minus 3, say, let's have a look, minus 2. If you were to put minus 2 in here, okay, you'd have 9 take away 4, which is 5. 5 times minus 2 is negative 10. So you can see that this part of the curve is for values of t between 0 and minus 3. So that's why we need t is 3 for this point. If we're going x going from minus 4 to 41 along this part of the, part of the curve. Just put a little arrow there. So when t equals, sorry, when x is 41, t is equal to 3, and we can just put 3 up in there. OK? Right, now, how do we change this integral? Well, we need dx by dt. And we can work out what dx by dt is. Let's just go over here. dx by dt is equal to, and if we differentiate this in the usual way, we're just going to get 10t. So we can substitute 10t into this part of the integral. 
So what we've got is that this is equal to 2 times the integral from t going from 0 to 3 of t times 9 minus t squared times 10t with respect to t. And if we expand the bracket, we can take the 10 out the front, so we get 20. The integral from 0 to 3. And if we expand the bracket, we've got t times this t, which is t squared, times it with the 9, and you've got 9t squared. And then you've got t squared times this minus t squared, which is minus t to the 4. So you should have that. Put that in brackets because we've still got two terms that we want to treat as one term. Now integrate this in the usual way by adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. So we get 9t cubed over 3 minus t to the fourth integrate respect to t. Add 1 to the power. t to the power 5 over 5. Put the limits in going from 0 to 3. And what we need to do now is just substitute our values in, starting with the 3 first. So if you put the 3 through here, okay, you're going to have 9 times 3 cubed divided by 3. So we'll have 9 times 3 cubed divided by 3. Then we've got 3 to the power 5 divided by 5. And just put that in brackets, minus, put the naught through, and you'll see that you get 0. So if you now work this out on your calculator, or do it in your head, it's up to you, you should find that you get 648. 648, I'm going to put square units on the end, OK, because it's an area. You're not going to lose any marks if you don't put that on, but I always think it's a good idea if you do do that. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this question.